um, sort of mix out as I top them up, if that makes sense. So the, the Christmas colours and the egg pops will slowly sort of go, um, but not completely all in one go, because I think they might as well keep them, because they are good, lovely colours in there. Right, egg pop number one, Tracy. Good luck. So yes, all still Christmassy colours. And your first one is actually all four of them are Christmassy colours. You've got, oh, let's move this one over, a TARDIS blue, a bridal white, burgundy red, and a sea green. Now, I know I say these are Christmassy colours, but they are also gorgeous colours, so I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that they'll be ebbing out slowly. I mean, these colours will be mixed in all the other egg pops as well. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, egg pop number two. And you've got three pearls in that one. Again, all Christmassy colours with this one. We've got another TARDIS blue, a pastel apple green, and a burgundy red. Cat, I can see that one, my lovely. Then your last egg pop here, Tracy. Three pearls in that one again. And again, all three are Christmassy colours, which is perfect. So you've got another TARDIS blue, so three for three with that one. Uh, a bridal white here, so slightly smaller than the first one. And then a three for three with the burgundy reds. Okay, so we do have three oysters to go. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to move these over. So we've definitely got enough room. Because if you have multiples in your oysters, we're not going to have enough room. So at least now I can do half and half. Okay, so moving on to your oysters. Oyster number one. Light pop there. There's your mother of pearls. So we can definitely see that there's no pearls on that side. And in here, I can see a multiple peeper. One and two. One ran down the front there. I'll grab it in just a moment. There's no more in that one. So your first oyster, you are twinning with chocolate twins. Now it does visually look like you've got one which is larger than the other with the chocolate twins here. So uh, it's this one. This one on this side looks visually larger than his twin. But it's not a massive difference as you can see there. Your next oyster, Tracy. soft pop there and in here there's your mother of pearls so we can see that there's no pearls on that side if we have a squidge in here oh we've got a TARDIS blue and there's no more in that one so that is a slightly smaller TARDIS blue to your previous blues from the egg pop So just hold them over there. You can see very, very similar in colour, just size-wise, slightly smaller. And then moving on to your last oyster. Oh, again, quite a nice, deep, soft pop there. And again, a little bit of flesh there, but there's definitely no pearls on that side. And we can see right under there and it is another blue Tracy you are having a blue opening this evening you've got a TARDIS blue and there's no more in that one this one is definitely larger than the last blue out oh he might have a little imperfection there actually let me He 
leave that here. Okay, so this blue does have a little imperfection on him, so I'm just going to hold it where you can see that imperfection. So, blue all the way around, then just there you can see um, a little inclusion, so a little indent in that pal. So all the way around to the same, just that little section there. So of course, if you're not happy with the imperfection, I can swap it at the end for you, um, or swap it for a color match or of course a different color or if, if you're happy with it then that's perfect as well so from the oysters you've got twinning chocolates a smaller tardis blue and a larger tardis blue from the egg pops you've got tardis blue bridal white burgundy red sea green tardis blues apple green burgundy red tardis blue bridal white and a burgundy red and then you've got that silver chocolate from the gifted donated pearl uh, can you have the tardis blues on the umbrellas please imperfect is perfect um so let's have a look would you like to have the imperfect one on the pendant of the umbrella or would you prefer to have like the three blues over here on them because i think they are very very similar yeah i would what i would do is i'd put these two on the earrings and then it's up to you which blue you'd like on the pendant so those two i'd pop on the earrings because they are same there so then it's between the small blue the larger blue or the egg pop blue for the pendant my lovely I will just measure. I don't believe that these are anywhere near 5.56, to 6.57. He's at 8. And his twin's not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not 6.57, not 7.5. He's an 8. So, yeah. I will measure the imperfection blue, though, just because he is slightly larger. Can the imperfection show on the pendant? Yes, of course it can. So, um, we'll go with the similar, the similar blues for the earrings. And the pendant one, I can set it so the imperfection is definitely showing. Yes, so basically I just drill, um, I sort of drill this way. So it would hopefully be sitting like this or maybe a little bit lower. And then I just set it so it is, of course, facing forward. Or backwards and then you could just move it around yes you'd like it so the imperfection is showing oh let me measure that one as well for you because like i said he's slightly larger he's not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven not a 7.5 not an eight he's an 8.5 but it's always good to check just in case there is a sneaky nine in there <laughs> okay so if i write that bit put on here um in perfection showing perfect so then i just need to know what you would like for your other items now i will go through these and measure them but just to remind you you've got the chocolate twins tardis blue and the silver chocolate and then two whites three reds a sea green and apple green and then a last tardis blue so twin chocolate number one is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, he's a 7.5. Twin chocolate number two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. So they are measuring different sizes there. The smaller TARDIS blue is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. And the silver chocolate is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, he's a 7.5. Would like to match the chocolate twins with another for the reindeers. Okay, are you thinking for me to match maybe one in size so then you can have um, sort of the same size on the earrings? And if so, which, oh, it's just a touch darker, which one would you like to swap out?
sorry, what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a load of potentials and then I can come forward and have a look. Okay, what colours have we got here? Uh, that one. Oh, that's the right colour. It's just a touch too large. Touch too dark. Not the right shade. Oh, let's have a look there. So that one would be there. So your original two are the ones on the outer side. Then I've added in a match of the smaller ones. So then the larger one would be on the pendant. If you're happy with that, which uh, other pearl would you like to swap out for that match? Happy New Year to you as well, Dina, my lovely. Take that with you, please. Thank you, Bab. Oh, okay, have you moved the fan, Bab, please? Whichever you think is best, please. Would like to swap out the red or a red. Perfect. Uh, also, the other two reds would like to swap for two pinks and donate them to Kayla as she never gets her pink. A little bit more, please. So swap the other two reds for pinks. And Kayla, with Kayla, what's her last name? Uh, I'm going for two different shades of pink. I hope that's okay. If not, just shout out. I can, of course, change it. Okay, so we've got the hot pink and the bright pink oh to Kayla I didn't see that Kayla was hoping for pink